the plan is to try and get this crane on this blooming fancy new truck, which is proving a little bit more enthusiastic than we thought. But we're going to use the deck, and I'm hoping to figure out how to cut a hole through checker plate without a... I think I've still got an oxy torch around here somewhere, but hopefully I have. Could be rather fun trying to drill a square hole. Maybe we'll... Actually, that's a bloody slack idea. Maybe a bloke could put round pipes on there. <laughs> yeah, anyway. So the first things first, we better go and cut this off, get it tidied up and move the truck somewhere where the bloomin' power can get to it. That'd be a good idea too. My golly gosh. <laughs> That's a jolly long tray. We've only got the little old dag ass welder here. The good welder's out home when we welded up that pipe. Anyway, that'll be all right. <sighs> Poor little truck starting to look all naked, isn't it? Sorry, old girl. You've done a good job. Oh, I was thinking I'd cut it through here, but I don't know. Would that end up too short? It's a fair way through. It's not that... I reckon just cut them through here would be about right, wouldn't it? Serious metal. <laughs> I think that's us. Ah, oh well. We'll go and get the welder and a different battery. <laughs> Bloody hell, Dad. You'd think if a bloke had any brains, he would have brought the charger with him. Here we go, Camry Crow. We'll see if we can come and get our welder back on board. Now don't, don't lose that radiator cap, I need that. I need that for my sweeper. <laughs> <laughs> Me wheels are a bit slack. <laughs> oh, oh, help. Uh, uh, uh. Bloody hell. Rup. <sighs> Jeepers. Uh. I should put that on the job sheet, I think. Put the wheels back on the welder. Oh, they fell off years ago, the bloody things. Right, welding rods. Did we leave a helmet out there? You bloody vandal. <laughs> Fucking own little skipping rope. What else do we need? What else did we bring here that we've stole from the farm? I think that's all we're gonna want for this job, isn't it? No. That'd be right. That battery must be stuffed. Oh, poop. Oh well. We'll have to go old school and use the electrical one. Maybe I won't leave it on there because otherwise next thing I'll forget it. <laughs> I'll get my trusty cameraman to hang on to that end otherwise the crane will swing around and take off. I mean, I suppose we could tie it to that. But it's, we could, I suppose we could swing it around and tie it. But we tried that and it went all weird too. Ah, oh, shit, lad. Just had a bloody nightmare thought. We've got the truck the wrong way around. Because <laughs> when we get up there, we'll want to go the other way, won't it? After all that effort, I have to turn the truck around. Oh, golly gosh! Because <laughs> otherwise this will be facing forward.
under the bed of the truck, we've got the nice cross beams that are running this way. So I'm hoping to actually blow some holes through my floor. So these little bits here can sit up flush against the cross beams. And then I can weld them to the cross beams and weld my floor up again so it's all nice and neat. And then I'm trying to decide what I'm doing on the back here. I don't know, we'll figure that out when we get it on that far, I reckon. Then it might look like it belongs because <laughs> it's a fraction. That little truck was narrower than this one, so. Oh, I don't know. There's always some fun when you're retrofitting stuff, isn't there? <laughs> oh. Anyway, so we thought the most easiest way to blow a hole in the deck of the truck here is to get our oxy torch out. Just all that does is pretty much heat the metal up and then when it gets hot enough and you blast a bit of oxygen to it and then it just atomizes the metal and away you go and you can cut holes through shit. So it's a lot quicker than drilling it. Of course, the thing I love about metal is if you bucket it after you just weld the hole back in anyway and just pretend you weren't here. So I figure the best approach is to go underneath the truck and blast it up from underneath so I get it on exactly where the beam is. So anyway, hopefully that's a good idea, but we'll find out. Now we'll, we'll see what happens. I think we're gonna have to come from the top down. So we've got 890 from the outside, 100 from the weld, and we'll drill a hole, and then we'll blow through that, and we'll see what happens. Because I don't think I can cut from underneath, because it's right in the wrong spot. Oh, it's always something, isn't it? It's going to be so bloody long if it hits that beam, which it's going <laughs> so we to. We'll have to make them 75. We'll pull this out of the way so we can drill some holes, and then we'll... Um, Cut our little struts off to the right height too. Unless we should just cut the bases off and weld it. <laughs> the tray and be done with it. You gonna buy me a bull bar? So we can look like real truckies. <laughs> Hoist up the John Bean sail. She's not there at all. <laughs> I was just thinking, since you were in charge of holding the tape measure, I can blame you if we got the holes in the wrong spot. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Oh dear. Shit. <laughs> we're going down, we're going down. That's why it says, never work underneath hydraulically suspension. It always says that on the little hydraulic jacks too. Don't get under the car under a hydraulic jack. So I'm probably breaking every safety rule ever. As soon as we light this up, the oxy will burn the texture out the way. Straight to jail, do not pass go. Do not even collect 15 cents. Now we're not gonna wreck anything under there, are we? <laughs> I don't think so. Helpful if a bloke could cut in a straight line. I never did actually say I was an engineer. <laughs> Check, it's still moving. <laughs> Getting very close. We don't want it too snug. Oh, you idiot. We don't want it too snug anyway, do we? <laughs> Otherwise, we'll never get it in there. 
Woo! <laughs> Ahoy! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ahoy, me hearty! I don't know, you reckon we're dreaming? Oh, far out. Anyway, don't forget, you measured the shit. I really don't think we're going to be quite this clever, but yeah, anyway, at least we've got some holes to get started with. <laughs> Surely, it'll go somewhere near it. Surely. Let's see what we can, let's see what trouble we can get into, shall we? Holy gosh, eh? What a circus. I reckon that's looking pretty good. <laughs> oh, I know how come the gorillas feel like they can do this when they have a vin. They go, woo! <laughs> Look at us go! We might make this work yet. It's not quite in there, Leo, but I've got to get the fork out somehow. <sighs> that's the next thing because it's hitting on that beam there. But anyway, we can figure that out in a minute. Because we're slightly crooked. We'll weld it there. <laughs> we'll hold it down. We're yeah, not no, going to be that rough. I mean, if you want to take this now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, well, hopefully. I think it's just sitting there already, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I need a bigger ladder now. <laughs> is that resting on that at all? I mean, it is a bit. Because it's sort of. Maybe I'll go down a little bit more. I think I've got to tap it off with that edge. Do we bring this big hammer up here or the crowbar or something? It's got itself jammed in the middle there. I'll give it a whack and see if we can make it fall over before we undo it all. Because it's sitting on the... Sitting on there. Anyway. Oh dear, oh dear. Mm. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. I'm fairly happy so far. be a hard drive with a forklift stuck on the side of the tractor, won't it? <laughs> ah, hang on. <laughs> oh, you silly thing. Well, it's jammed under here and jammed over there, so I'm trying to get it undone without getting too excited, otherwise we, <laughs> we might lose everything. Moments like this, you can get all excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, that's off of there now. So then, I don't think, is that fork actually? See, then it's still jammed there a little bit, but I don't think it's doing too much. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Look at us, couple of bloody champions. Goodness me, lad. <laughs> oh, bloody good. I'd give that a credit. Not everybody would agree with me, but I reckon that's pretty bloody dandy. <laughs> oh, I, think, I think it's not quite square, because this was obviously not sitting on the deck before, it was its own thing. So I think what we'll do is we're gonna, I'm gonna get some, well, I haven't got any steel with us and it's too jolly late, so <laughs> while you're not here, I'm gonna get a bit and I'm gonna weld onto here, and then I'll bolt it to the deck either way. And I reckon that's gonna be pretty cool. Gonna be perfect. I'm a, I'll make my little mounty up bit there at the back. And I'm thinking I could make it so I could spin it around and put it over the front if I wanted to use the back of the truck. Like, you know, that little deck for a tractor or something. Couldn't I? <laughs> anyway, we'll slap a bit of weld on there so we can get our tractor away and we'll be all good for the day. Oh man, alive. Where 
bit of rubber mats went. <laughs> Hurrah! Come on, what are you doing? Who wrapped this up? I wonder. <laughs> Go on. Normally have some bit of rubber mat to kneel on so you don't bloom and do yourself a damage if it decides to arc out. <laughs> ah, where the hell my welding mat is? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Not that it's ever happened, but apparently when you're welding steel on steel and you're kneeling on steel, you don't want to become the actual earth point. So <laughs> that's a very bad idea. I've had a few tingles along the way, but I've never actually done it to myself properly. Right. Oh. That should work, I reckon. That's looking pretty good. Bit of paint on that, you won't know it. Will ya? We'll be like professionals. Well, let's not get carried away. <laughs> Maybe newbie professionals. You know, with a double E. Ha ha ha! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> ah, should have cleaned this up, I think. I was just thinking it'd really suck if it's turned out to be aluminium, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would have been great. But luckily that's not the case. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have to get up there, I think. I'm not that tall. I think you're gonna have to make me a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you can walk around the edge of it, that's pretty groovy. <laughs> I guess if we wanted to get really, really excited, we could have ground off the checker plate, but hell, <laughs> we're not that professional. <laughs> think it'll be all right but we'll see what happens when we take our lifter away I don't think it's really supporting too much yet obviously we will have to do a little bit more supporting and strutting around but we've run out of daylight and I've run out of enthusiasm <laughs> oh shit <laughs> oh. golly gosh <laughs> Fingers crossed. Whether I'm just exhausted and delirious or just pretty happy with myself. That's been a pretty good week, I reckon. We've gone from complete crap to completely bloody awesome. <laughs> so all I gotta do now is sort of brace it up a little bit and put a little support beam at the back. So that'll be good. Thank you all for all your support and love and best wishes. And I know you all believed in me. Cool, let's get this bee boxes moved.
fuck is he doing? Just leave it alone for now. Oh my god! <laughs> what are you trying to do? 